Hello and welcome back to Castle Null. Right, so we did end the last episode in December and there was nothing much else on uh, for the month, so I did move on to January. So here we are now. And we have to feed the cows. They are nearly out of food. We'll just show you where they're at. We do have a few things to do in January, but for the most part, it is a slow month of course their milk is blimey it's maxed out so that's another thing we should really do right actually first so they can continue producing the chickens are fine the sheep I did give them uh, the last bit of another bale so they're fine for now and we have some lambs look at that and the young rams as well oh that's brilliant that's lovely that is lovely I might get a trailer so that I can sell the males so the young rams because we don't really want the the males we just want the females um but yeah that's brilliant and then the poor pigs so at the time of recording the i haven't i'm recording this before the previous episode has released not immediately after it was recorded or anything but i have a poll out uh well yeah, by this time I'll have also have it out. A vote. Should I keep the pigs or not? So I haven't seen the results yet because it hasn't posted yet as time of recording. But nevertheless, I still will wait before doing anything with the pigs because I don't want to sell them and then, you know, regret it. But at the same time, I can always get them again when we're more established, you know, on the map. Right, so the first thing is... We really need to shift that milk, though. But here, let's get this filled up. Let's get them some food. Oh, it is at 100. Right, we'll get this filled up very quickly. Oh, very close. There we are. So, I think we'll just do one for now and then get the milk shifted. I hope we have the milk tanker over here. I know I approached that at a very interesting angle, to say the very least. Uh, but yes, we will go through most of this silage. We'll probably use it all today just in feeding. I'm a bit concerned for that, so the sooner that we can buy the big field there, which I might have to get before we we can sell the other fields, so that might have to be a loan. But as at the same time, I do want to earn that big field as well. So we'll, we'll see what happens. I still have to pay off the loan. So, and I still have a loan as well uh, from when we had that Baylor situation. So that's something that I have to consider as well. And I don't really want to go collectible hunting. But if I find any, I will, I will pick them up and take them. Right, I should turn this into a bit of a time lapse, so I will do, and probably in the same time lapse I will add on uh, collecting some milk uh, so that we can get it emptied and they can make some more, because milk is a very nice and profitable uh, business, especially if you're making things with it. Which, by the way, we do have a, I believe it's a dairy, right in that building there with the big wall uh, art there and uh, we can actually buy it where is it there we go I think it's 70,000 pounds it is 70,000 pounds so that is something we could consider and we could use the milk though huh Right, that's very interesting, actually. Maybe we should invest in that instead. Whoops, wrong tractor. <laughs> Sorry, I was, I was deep in thought and I got into the wrong machine. Right, I'll crack all the time lapse and I'll have a ponder of that. Hmm, because we do have loads of milk and we can make loads of money from turning that milk into cheese, for example. And we are in France. Right, 
So, there is milk here. I, I hope it's on this side. I hope I don't have to back in to here because that would be very difficult as well. Um, but let's have a try here and see. May might have to. I don't know. Yeah, these these can be a bit difficult to uh, to get going. Let's see if I do have that. Oh, I do. Trailer must be straight to activate. There we go. Brilliant. There we go. Just lock the axle there, and uh, we should be able to unlock it and fill. Brilliant. That is a mod hub mod, by the way. I don't know if it's crossplay, but it's definitely a PC mod. Uh, where it's just axle blocking, axle, yeah, trailer block, something like that. So we have 8,000 litres of milk here in this tanker, and we have, uh, right now, we have nowhere to bring it. We could sell it, but let's have a look at prices of everything, because I really don't know where we're at with things. Right, so, oh, hello, very high price. <sighs> Alright, so here we go. This is what I was worried about, that milk would be the thing to sell. But I need the milk to use for the the thing. Although, it's showing 25,000. But there was much more before because I took some. I swore it was at 30-something. Yeah, 33 or whatever. Huh. What if we just sell the one to earn enough to buy that? Hmm. That's an investment that's dangerous as well. Right. Okay, well, where can we sell this highly sought-after milk? Blimey, we can sell it here and then buy it. That is mighty cheeky. Right, that is very good actually. So if we do sell it for what is that? Two, three, five, four. And then how much did I say? Eight thousand we have. So that's enough and then some. Let's do it. Let's sell one trailer load. And then we'll buy it. And if we're lucky that milk will be in there. But if we're not, then it's fine. We still bought it, so it's fine. Now where oh where? You're going to make me reverse in here as well. Okay, not too bad. Alright. The money's skyrocketing. So we could sell it all here. And then potentially have enough to buy something for real. Do you know what I mean? What are we at? There's still another £64,000 worth in there. Hmm. So here's the other thing two options. One, we either buy... Now, I see this would be a brilliant opportunity to get some opinion on, because we do have two very real possibilities here. One is that we sell all the milk here. It's right here. It could not be closer, and we'd be up another £60,000. With that £60,000, we then have... What is it? A hundred and... 50-ish, and we buy this field before we sell these other fields. We've got two here to sell, one... I mean, we could keep 19, but really, I would just rather have one wicked field for everything we need at this farm. I mean, we do need wheat and all that as well, uh, which is why I would like to bring the arable operation over to this side, uh, but... Do we sell the pigs? So that is the vote that's probably still up. So I will see it before recording the next episode. So that's good. Uh, but we will uh, we'll see. I will have a ponder on it. And in the meantime, I will check on all the other animals. Because it is January, so we could do a few things. So before we move on, I'll do a quick check of everything. And decide whether we buy the dairy now or we buy the field. I think the field, because we can turn it all into silage, sell loads of it, sell £70,000 worth, 
and then by the dairy, while the cows continue to produce more milk. I think that's the plan. And the price is dropping, so I'll crack on with it. But, before we sell and move on, I will make sure to check on the animals. Right, we'll see you very soon. Alright, well, as you can see, I have decided the milk is to be sold. So we will go and sell the milk to the, the dairy that we will eventually be purchasing. Um, I'm almost certain that if we were to buy the dairy with the money we have, it would have this milk in it that we could then use. It might, it might not, though. So I wouldn't want to accidentally uh, get... Yeah, do that. So what we'll do is I'm going to sell the milk. Yes, hello. Oh, let's have a look very quickly here. Hello, young little ram. Very, very cute. Oh, my goodness. Hello. Hello there. Another 18,000 pounds from that. You having a lie down? Oh, my goodness. Barely tall enough to... Oh, hello. <laughs> They're just so sweet. Ah, oh, very good. Right, we uh, make our way back over to the milk area and we'll just uh, crack on with it. I think... Uh, how much did it say was in there? 20... No, 30 some thousand? I'd have to double check now because we would have sold about half of that. If my calculations are correct... So the trailer itself... Oh, have I just knocked a tire in? Oh no. The trailer itself has to be straight, not the actual vehicle with the trailer. See, there you are. Right, so it does... It, it is a bit... Uh, it is efficient at times and inefficient at other times, but nevertheless, we will crack on with this. Okay, right, I can't... I can't have that, that there. It's going to bother me now. Come on. What do you mean I can't lift it? the bloody tyre. Hey! Oh! You cheeky bugger. There we go. Right. We'll, <laughs> we'll sort out the milk now. We do have this silage as well, uh, which is good because we will need uh, loads of silage for the cows. They just go through it so fast. And uh, here, I'll stick this on the side there. There we go. Right. We'll get lined up, get some more milk loaded in, and sell the lot. Alright, with our very last 3,000 odd litres of milk sold, we are now at 149,582. So if we do go into here, we can actually see exactly how much we've made from milk, 82,000 pounds. Now if we look, every sort of this slurry, we could sell loads of slurry, make another 12,000. Oh, really though, we should. But what are we going to transport it in? We'd have to get something to transport it. And, uh... I mean, oh wow. So that is in the sale. But that's not really a transportation thing as well. Plus, I think it would be best to lease something out. So, for example, let's see. What could we use for that? Slurry tanks. Hmm... 21,000, that's a lot of trips, in it? These are all quite big and expensive as well. They look more for spreading it versus actually holding it. Blimey, that's that's not even that big. Um, and we've got the... Oh, hello. Oh, right. Okay, that could be very useful, that. 40,000. Wow, lease it for under 1,000 pounds, and we would make... If... Ooh, can the Massey pull it? The Massey would be the best option for it, but can it pull it? And where would we have to go again? All the way, if I'm not mistaken, all the way up to... Pissagist. Right, we'll take it. I believe it's way... Yeah, it's up there, isn't it? That's quite far. We could set it on an auto-drive course, though. Um, how much would we get for that? 12,000? And we wouldn't get any sort of digestate back. 
But we do have loads of it. But we do... We should use some of it, I suppose. Hmm. Well, it's only worth that much. We'll, we'll keep it for now. The silage, on the other hand, is very interesting. Because I would like to buy the dairy as well. Here's my plan. I do want to purchase... Uh, this one here. For, oh, right, right. So we do have £25,000 remaining. Uh, we could sell £50,000 of silage and then do up field, what is it, 49 as silage and then some as hay because we do need hay as well. Hmm, where does that have to go? Where is silage? Animal dealer, where is that? going to be far isn't it yes it's going to be way over there right and all of our trailers are also way over there <laughs> oh no right so if we were to do manure in that oh, sorry silage in that capacity we would want ah oh, that would be so that would be quite quite difficult not difficult it would just take some time where is trailers hello there we go uh, 22.5, 16, can we attach them? Oh no, I don't want to get rid of them. That was almost a nasty accident. Alright, oh, we've got, see, we've got all this over here as well. Hmm. Wait, where is the class... Trailer, is it in here? No. I've lost my trailer. Huh. It might very well be down at this farm. Where have I put that? Oh, wait, I think I know where it is. Yeah, I see it there. Right. So it is over here. That's good news. So 22,000. We would have to do about four trips. But I would send somebody. I would send someone to go and do that. Because... Yeah. Hmm. Well, what I think we should do is... Buy that field. And then sell some silage. I'm feeling good about that. Because if we can buy the dairy... Well, we'll just have to see. Right, let me get something set up. First thing we'll do... Yeah, first thing I'll do, I will buy that field. And then I will get some silage sold. Because we might as well make the most of January. Since we have this amazing opportunity to make some extra pounds. And I know we need silage to feed the cows. So I will take uh, as much of the silage as I can. It won't be all £70,000. But if I can earn just enough to buy the dairy as well I will call that a success I might even pull a loan who knows we'll see um, but as you can see we oh did I just open that silo I might have 10,000 here and the rest there hundred about hundred thousand pounds hundred thousand liters sorry so yeah it will be a fair few right let's crack on with it I will get everything set up and we'll see you back here in a second Alright, so a subtle change of plans. Well, it's actually quite a big change of plans, but nevertheless, we are doing a bit of silage selling. So what we're going to do first is feed the cows, because they do need to be fed. Let's have a very quick look. Cows, as you can see, they need feeding. They're fine. They're fine. Uh, right, that's fine. Let's have a look. Why does it say... no wool like as if they've produced nothing have they produced nothing oh they've got wool right there strange and that was open as well okay well anyways we are going to actually I should run over here we are going to buy the the uh, the dairy first so I have decided it just makes sense especially if we can start putting milk in it because we will have milk producing already I guarantee you there's some they we could take Look at that. There's already 1,400 litres that we can take. So I think it's worth it because we can start putting milk in straight away and we can sell a bit of silage, sure, sure, to buy that field. We can't do anything with it anyways, can we? Can we? Oh, we can do. 
Right, okay. Then that's what we'll do. We'll buy the dairy now. We'll sell some silage, and then we'll do some silage work to make up for it. Happy days. Right, here we are. Look at this place. is amazing. Can't wait to start making butter and cheese, and uh, here's the lights. Might be nice to uh, have on. Or maybe we can't turn them on to we buy the place. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, fantastic. Buy it for 70,000. Yes, we have. So, we have productions. That's our first uh, production as well. And, oh, we do have the milk. <gasps> no way. That is amazing. We can't make cheese. Oh, because you need a nut for cheese. Oh, that's cool. That's a new thing. So, we'll deactivate cheese for now. And we'll just produce butter. The butter selling price is higher than the che than the milk price. So that is good. Uh, I would eventually like to switch it up and make some cheese as well. But look at this, we have our very first production. Amazing. Excuse me, I'd like to get out please. Here, we'll turn the light off. And uh, amazing. There we have it. Right, we'll get to feeding the cows and selling some silage. Alright, here is another delivery of TMR for the cows. Now, this is delivery two of three. I reckon I should probably do a, uh, a third mix. I think this was about 9,000. So now it's at slowly going up. Um, I think to be safe, I will do another mix before I sell any. But the main reason I want to... It's either... So either pull a loan and do the do the silage work or sell the silage and then buy the field and then do the silage work. So I think if, if we can not add on to our current current loan, it'll probably be for the best, but <laughs> right, it's just gonna be a lot of loading. In fact, actually thinking about it, using that particular bucket as well, that rake, that means I'll have to do some 80 loads which is a bit insane if you think about it uh, but we'll see what happens I suppose I could lease some sort of equipment to do it but I don't know maybe we'll just pull a loan yeah I don't think we're I don't think we're quite equipped for selling silage but I will look at the pricing I will look at the pricing of it all and see what is best um, I have decided I should put more hay into the mixture because we will be making more hay very soon and the, and the sheep are fine as well. So I was putting 4,000, now I'm putting 6,000. Which is almost a, a full bale. Um, could get it to the point where it is a full bale each time. We do an 8,000 litre bale and then we have the rest of silage, but I think we should probably try and do another... What did I put in there? About 3,000. You can hear the lambs are screaming. Right. I think I'll put... I'll get this one down to 5. 5,000. 55, how about that? Yeah. Do 55. It's close enough. Brilliant. Alright, we'll just lower that all down. And we'll go and feed them one more time. Alright, well as you can see, we have ended up in the second pit. This one is completely empty, ready for alfalfa. Uh, but what we're going to do with this, so we will feed them, as I say, one more time. And I have made a decision on what the plan is. Now, as if you've, if you've watched my series before, uh, you will know that I am um, a planner. I do like to plan things. Uh, but I also know that plans change often. Uh, they've changed. Uh, well, they have. We're never really set. But anyways, the plan is: I will purchase. Um, I do. We do have a nice telehandler. Which one do we have? Right, this one here. So it's not the biggest and best, or whatever. Uh, but I am going to put a bucket on it, and hopefully, it can hold the bucket. Uh, so that we can actually get silage done. 
Now, there are a few options. I'm really hoping that this one works. Where are we? we no, that's Wheel Loaders Telehandler Tools. So we do have this Robert pack. And I believe I'm using this one, but the big version, on my cool farm series. And it's quite good. But for the price, I think I'll go for the shovel with the grapple. I'm going to try because it is lighter than that. So I'm hoping that its weight will be easier on the... Uh, this actually might be the one I used in uh, Barley Spring, but I can't remember. Anyways, I'm going to purchase it because, yes, we will use it. I will take the little truck down to... Right, we can shut that down for now. We'll get this... Ah, right. We'll get this set up. I will remove the items from here, and we can... Yeah, that'll hold the grapple. Put it on with the uh, telehandler at the shop. And uh, happy days, and then we'll see you back at the farm. Alright, as you can see, we have the loader on the back. Now, good, okay. I was trying to load it a few times. I wanted it to go to the actual silage pit, but it's close enough. Anyways, while the helper is on their way, uh, we are going to... Actually, I do want to see how our production is faring. Amazing. We've almost got 300 litres of butter, just like that. So the cows are fine for now. They are producing all the things. Chickens, right, they're doing fine. Oh, their wool is, is full. I thought I... I swore it just said... Right, we should head over there. I, I'm going to quickly and cheekily shift it out the way. Hello. Right, just going to come here and... Oh, very quickly just... Yeah, we'll just shift it to the other side. Just in the hopes that that helps to... to uh, allow it to reproduce. Have a check on that. that. I'm sure that will go down. If not, we'll we'll have to double check it, but everything seems to be fine. The pigs, again, not too certain what's going on with them, so I'm just going to let them kind of do their thing. I'm willing to lose the, the, the food and the, and the straw and all that, but uh, yeah, it's fine. Anyways, the important thing is that we have a new bucket en route, 3,900 litres. I really hope that the Manitou uh, can support it, but it should be fine. So we will use the class trailer. We'll get it loaded up. So my plan is to, as the driver is taking the silage to the sales point, which is fairly far away. It's not very close, but it's not... Yeah, it's over here somewhere. Yeah, it's around... There we go. Animal dealer. So they'll have to go down and around and then there. So we'll see how it goes. In the meantime though, what I will be doing is doing a bit of mowing. So we do have our field 49 here, which technically is uh, is not ours yet. Oh, it's growing, right? Of course it's not ready for harvest. It wasn't ready. It mustn't have been ready before the winter time. Right, it's growing still. Hmm. Right, it can't grow. Right, right, right. Okay, that's fine. So it's very bright and colourful, uh, but it's not ready. Hmm, it's a shame. If it, it's too bad, it was it was probably just still growing around this time. So yeah, we will have to wait till March before we can actually April even before we can actually cut that. Well, that's a shame. Right. Well, then what we'll do is we'll just yeah where's the truck coming here oh there he is lightning pace right we'll let it get a bit closer so I will well, actually know what we can do is collect the Manitou and get it ready to go to intercept so we'll just leave this bale here now this still will take a lot of loading to do, and I really hope that it's heavy enough. Ah, oh, we don't have any way of adding weight onto the back, do we? Mm, it might be... Oh, there we go. Oh, I want him to stop, actually. Nah, he's going to stop there anyways. Right, um, just take over from you. All right, now we're on our way. So, <laughs> I love how perfect it uh, 
it fit there as well. Pull over here, get unstrapped, and we're all ready. We'll get this out of the way, and basically the plan is to move as much silage as we can. You know what, the other thing as well is I wouldn't be able to... Um, I wouldn't be able to drive the load all the way up to the sales point with the Massey because we would be mowing with it. And I don't think we can mow with this. Possibly. But it's not very flat, is it? Anyways, we do need the Massey on the class trailer. So we'll get that as well, lined up and ready to go, and then we'll have ourselves a good old-fashioned uh, silage loading time-lapse. But once we do get them set off, I don't really know what what the next plan would be. You know what we could do for the very first time is uh, I could load... Hmm... You know what I might do this first time? I might, in one time lapse, I'll load and drive it down there for the first time, because I think that would be a—I uh, think that would be an all right way of doing it. Now, what's the best way? This is quite dangerous, so to take that with a trailer full of, yeah, would not be good. But this is a shorter route, so maybe we'll take this actually. Yeah, we'll go up past Alfalfa and around. So. We do need the Manny too, though. So we will get this into a bit of a time lapse. We'll get the silage loaded and the trip the first time completed, and we'll see just how long that actually takes to make that journey as well. Because the rest of it we might get done off camera, so. And it should be just as easy as it was to load on. Oh, uh, yeah. Bit easy. <laughs> oh, this is mighty big. I do hope that this works. Oh, look at that. What an absolute champion. That is amazing. Look at that. Right, we'll just get lined up a bit better there. Actually, yeah, we'll put the beacons on, shut it off. And uh, look at that, I'm very impressed. Just now, can it reach? Can we get that all the way? There we are, brilliant. So, versus 1200 litres, we are now doing almost 4000 at a time. And uh, without any sort of issue at all, I'm very impressed by this, uh, <laughs> by the Manitou. Wow! Because if I do remember correctly, the Merlot struggled a bit when it was, uh, well, maybe like that. But no, it was a lot bouncier than that, if I remember correctly. Nevertheless, it does work. We are loading silage into the class trailer, which we will take to the animal dealer and make some money. And uh, yes, then we will buy that field there, but I was really hoping to buy it and harvest it today, but of course there would be nothing ready to harvest. It is, um, after all, January. So there you have it. Right, let's crack on.
Right, well we have arrived at the animal dealer and uh, it was quite a journey. <laughs> it was quite a bumpy journey in the early days and then uh, nice long straight through the town. Very nice indeed. Right, so this should be, should give us a... Oh, maybe it's just bales. That would be very unfortunate if that's the case. Perhaps the trigger is a bit over here. Aha! I can remove the tag. Ah, there we go. Now the money is skyrocketing. With a total of 13,202 from the harvest. That is amazing. That's just one trailer load, which I really think... Uh, can I get out this way? I can. I will just shut this gate. Not to be respectful of their lovely little gate, that is. Um, yeah, respectful of their property there. Uh, that's nice. That's just a nice little extra bit of income. Uh, that we now have uh, from the silage. I won't, <laughs> I won't sell any more because I'm worried about running out for the cows. In fact, maybe even that one shouldn't have been sold. Uh, another thing I want to do very quickly while we are here is go visit the arable farm because I do. Uh, I'm very torn, but I do want to. I do. I am leaning towards the, the the way of selling the pig farm here because I haven't um, I haven't been able to spend much time and attention on it and I reckon once I can actually get my other farm up and running which now that I've purchased the dairy I kind of have more of a desire to do that which includes uh, producing some some sort of nut and I know that there are trees down here so actually in fact we can visit there we have hazelnut look at that it's amazing there there were many so I have seen this this video is kind of broken into two sort of parts um, but I have seen some comments regarding the selling or not selling of the uh, see this one just says nuts so maybe that's what we need for that whereas hazelnut is different don't know, but but I think let's see what's this one chestnut. Yeah, there were there were some very good comments. Uh, some in favour for keeping the animals and some in favour for selling. But I think I'm going to sell the pigs. I think I will, and I will invest. I'll reinvest that money. I won't use any of that money to purchase land on the left side of the map. I will I will branch out to this side because it is a gorgeous map. Somebody made a comment, sorry I don't remember exactly who it was off the top of my head, but made a, a comment about uh, how big the map is and to use it and I completely agree. And this is why I'm not really getting a ch chance to use it because I'm always on this side so I think I'm gonna focus on this side and then work my way sort of to that side eventually um, because when I set up a f a l when I do set up down here at the trees um, I will try see I suppose there's no real land nearby to because I would like to put a small shed if I could nearby Ah, technically I could own the farmland outside. Right, just up 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 along the edge here. If I did own the the trees, I don't know. I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, <laughs> that's just that's just what I'm thinking because if we do purchase one of these 15,000 that one is 60,000. So I just want to make certain that we get the right one probably get the nut one first which is the more expensive one but 
Anyways, it is very interesting. I like the idea of that, as well as the idea of... What do we have here? There's some more down here. These are the same. Oh, yes, more down here. Hazelnut. And then, oh, is this one big patch of them? 55,000, and you get a lot. Hazelnut. This one's nut. And then there's a different one here at the other side. Chestnut. Right. Lovely. Lovely jubbly, that is. And then on this side, going right this way, we have chestnut. Oh, it's the same thing, just in reverse order. Well, isn't that nice? So... There we get. There we have it. Really, there's uh, there's a few options aside from carrying on with chestnut. Oh, two kinds of chestnut. Right. Okay. Well, that's cool. Uh, here is a bit of land, and it is free to own. What is this? Oh, okay. So it's kind of like a. Yeah. I mean, I could place something around here, but maybe not. We'll see. Again, getting ahead of myself. Right. We need to. Go back to the Massey. Because, yeah. I just. I don't want to look inside because then I'll. Then I won't want to sell them. Oh, hello. And do you want to know another. Okay. I have another reason to sell these pigs now and buy more in the future. And I'll tell you why. One, there's one option, two, well two options and I'll save them as I'm driving home uh, back to the other farm but one of them is once the pigs are sold, this is scenario that pigs are sold now in the future I either buy a brand new yeah we'll go this way um, a brand new pig barn somewhere else on the farm but that has them a, a they can go outside I don't, I don't like the pig barns. I have them all cooped up inside all the time. Because these ones, they can't get outside. So I had that in uh, vintage farming before, and I didn't care for it. So I know there are ones where they can roam about outside, and uh, I'd like to get one of them. So I will probably look at relocating pigs in the future. But uh, option two is on another playthrough, on another series I create... It, pigs is the focus. Do you know what I mean? Like, go straight in doing pigs, <laughs> essentially. You know, start with all the food for them and just do pigs to start. And then, of course, branch out from there. But, I mean, yeah, start with pigs. So, those are two options. Just putting these questions out there for anyone who wants to answer them. Right, enough rambling. I'll head back to the farm. No more selling of silage. Uh, which means we can probably move on to February now and uh, happy days and we might uh, we might be moving on quite quickly into the spring to get some harvesting done and, and some well some alfalfa harvest and uh, and then eventually some crops as well we can sell some fields and shift things around and, and get the farm set up proper for dairy farming and wool production of course right see you at the farm Right, so as you can see, we are, in fact, back at the farm now. And, uh, oh yes, hello, little little lambs. They are very cute. There are so many of them as well, running around. and Oh yes, look at the little ears flapping. Oh, they're just very cute. I just wanted to have a look at them while we sign off. Uh, right, I did actually do something in error. I was uh, driving, <laughs> I was on my way home. And I uh, purchased something on accident. Uh, the money, as you can see, has not really changed. There were a few costs that came in at the uh, at the hour mark, but I did accidentally purchase a production because I just wanted to see what exactly it had in it, and uh, I ex and I didn't uh, quit the save file. And I know I can recover an old save, but all I've done is just put the uh, I've put it back in, and uh, that should be fine. Uh, put the money back in, of course, and that should be fine. Because uh, I have full intentions of purchasing it in the future, just not, just not yet. So that's fine. Uh, I have put the money back in, and uh, once we get, of course, some sort of uh, flour mill or something, then we can actually use the bakery. But until then, not a problem. 
In other production news, as you can see, we do have our first pallet of butter, which is absolutely brilliant. Uh, we will have to find somewhere to store things. Maybe in this shed here we could uh, consider it a cooled shed. should be fine. Uh, inside would be neat as well, but unfortunately it's just not no room for that. It's just the production area itself, uh, which is absolutely fine. That does, however, end the episode for today. Uh, we will get more things sorted, more milk over there as well. Uh, we will be into February the next time that we uh, are here in the farm. And I will sell the pigs, as I've said. So I'll get that sorted in the next episode. That is the decision that will go through. But as I've said, it's not the end of the pigs necessarily. It's uh, definitely more so along the lines of just for now and we can move on to other things in the meantime because I would like to do a series where I focus solely on the pigs but if we hit a point where we can do pigs in this series I'd like to explore that option as well as always thank you so much for watching and if you did enjoy the video of course a cheeky thumbs up really does help out the channel and if you are new feel free to subscribe as well if you're enjoying the content right well as always thank you again and please do take care and bye for now.